just a couple more examples of working with equations of lines and planes. This problem asks you to find the point in which the line, a line that has, we have parametric equations for the line where it meets the plane. What we're really looking for is a choice of t where the x, y, and z coordinate would also lie in the plane, so they'd have to solve this equation. So basically, we can take our x, y, and z from the line and plug them into the equation for the plane. So we have 6 times 2, right, because the x coordinate is 2, 3 times y, but if you're on the line, the y coordinate is 3 plus 2t, and then minus 4 times z, and z is negative 2 minus 2t. That has to equal negative 12. So if we multiply out here, we get an equation for t. So we have 12 plus 9 plus 6t. Um, negative 4 times negative 2 would make plus 8. Negative 4 times negative 2t would make plus 8t. Has to equal negative 12. So let's combine some things here. We have um, uh, 6t and 8t make 14t. And 8 and 12 make 20, and 9 make 29. So 14t plus 29 equals negative 12. So 14t, let's see, that makes negative, if we take 29 away from this, taking away 30 would give negative 42, so we get negative 41. So t equals negative 41 over 14. This tells us what, what, t, what value of t when we lie on the line. So now we can, we can find um, the actual point on the line. So we know that the, that the x-coordinate is going to be 2. The y-coordinate of that point on the line is going to be 3 plus 2t. So that's going to be 3 minus 41 over 7, since 2 times negative 41 over 14 is negative 41 over 7. And finally, the z-coordinate is going to be negative 2 um, plus 41 over 7. With a little simplifying here, we can see the location is 2. Let's see, this is 21, um, 21 sevenths minus 41 sevenths would be negative 20 sevenths. And um, negative 2 plus 41 sevenths, yeah, negative 41 seven, uh, negative 41. So we get, um, what do we get? 14, um, oh goodness. So negative 14 from 41. If it was 14 from 40, that would be 36. So it's going to be 37 over 7. OK, so there's the point where the line and the plane meet. Here's one. When we're, gonna, we're supposed to parameterize the line in which these two planes meet. So we want to find where do these two planes come together at. So what we could do is we have two planes. So we've got a plane like this, and then another plane intersecting that plane. And we're trying to find the equation of that line of intersection of the two planes. So where do these two planes end up meeting? Well, we, we could find a vector. We, want, we need to find a point on, on that intersection, right? We also need to find a vector that lies along that that plane. So notice that vector, since it lies in the first plane, would be perpendicular to the normal of the first plane. It also, this vector lies in the second plane, so it would have to be perpendicular to the normal of the second plane. So if we read off the normals to these two planes and take their cross product, that would give us a vector that is parallel to the vector we're looking for. So um, if we read off the first normal, the coefficient of x is 5, the coefficient of y is negative 2, and the coefficient of z is 0. Looking at the, the second normal, the coefficient of x is 0, the coefficient of y is 4, and the coefficient of z is negative 5. So there's the two normals. To find something that is perpendicular to both normals, we can just cross them. All right, so we'll just find the determinant here. We have i times 10 minus 0. We have j, let's see, the, the determinant of j is negative 25 minus 0, but j is in a negative position, so we get plus 25. And then the k is 20 minus 0, so we get this, this vector 20. So this gives us um, a vector v that we can use to parameterize the line. So this vector lies along the line. And we just need now a point on the line. So we're going to have to find 
a point that satisfy that lies um, that lies on the line. It would have to satisfy both equations at once. This is a system of equations that we need to solve here. 4y minus, uh, uh oh, we have a system of equations that we need to solve. 5x minus 2y plus 0z equals 11, and then we have 4y minus 5z equals negative 17. So we could make, um, we have a free, we have this freedom here, we could make any choice of value for z. So let's see, if I chose z to be negative 1, then I'd have, oh, let's see, if I chose z to be 1, then I'd have a 12 over there, that might be nice. So I can make any choice for z, I just see if I make the choice z equals 1, then I'll have 4y minus 5 equals negative 17, so 4y equals negative 12. That's going to tell me that y equals um, negative 3. And now that I know that y is negative 3, I can go up here to this equation for x. 5x minus 2 by, 2y, but if, if y is um, negative 3, then we're going to have 5x plus 6 equals 11. So 5x will equal 5, so x will equal 1. So now we have a point on the line that will be r naught. We figured out that the point 1, negative 3, 1 satisfies both equations. So you could, you could check it up here, right? But we just found that point in order to do it. So now we can parameterize the line. Here's our parameterization. Remember, we always take r of t is equal to vt plus r naught. And v in this case is 10, 25, 20 t plus, we found that point 1, negative 3, 1. And so we get 10 t plus 1, 25 t minus 3, and 20 t plus 1. And so here's the equation of the line where the two planes meet.